Hey guys, it's Chaotic Modder again, and I'm going to show you how to dual boot Windows 7 and whatever other Windows you're using. Like, I'm going to be using Windows Vista here. Okay, first thing you're going to need is obviously Windows 7. <clears throat> the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Computer, you're going to right click, and you're going to go to Manage. It takes a little while to load up. Once it's there, you're going to go to Disk Management. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to create a partition on your hard drive, or you can always use a different hard drive. For this one, I got a nice big one. I'm going to make a partition. Mine is about 20.1 gigabytes. And how you, do it, how you do this is you click on your main hard drive, C, and you right click. You could do shrink volume. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put up the space of how much you want to shrink. Since I already did this, I'm just going to click cancel. Okay, once this happens, you're going to restart your computer, put in Windows 7, and follow the on-screen instructions till you've downloaded it successfully. Okay. Once that's done, you're going to need something called EasyBCD 1.7.2. You're going to open that up, and this is a really, really easy application for a boot manager. You're going to go to Add or Remove Entries, and you're going to go to Windows, you're going to do type, just put Windows Vista or Longhorn, uh, put the drive, it sh uh, put the drive of the partition you did, for me it's G, you can name it anything, I, win I named mine Windows 7, you could even change the bootloader, which is here, or here, my bad, and what a bootloader is, is after a certain amount of time, it'll go to your default OS. Mine is Windows uh, Vista. Okay, guys, uh, you can always get Windows 7 somewhere on Demonoid, and I'll put up a link for EasyBCD on the video. Okay, good luck, guys, and it's really easy to do.